Hey guys and welcome back. I am Sam Crack and today let's talk about hail damage. Now I've got a lot of requests to do a video on hail damage and that's because hail damage is obviously very easy to fix. It's typically inexpensive and you kind of know what you're getting into. A bunch of dents all over your car. But the price for hail damage vehicles at auction typically command way more than say an accident vehicle, a flood vehicle, or a burn vehicle. So before we dive into all the damage that hail creates and how much it might cost to repair a hail damage vehicle, let's discuss hail storms. Now I'm no meteorologist, but obviously hail comes in all different sizes and during a severe hail storm, it's blown by heavy gusts of winds. So it could be coming at any different angle. And that really determines the extent of the damage on your car. The majority of a hail damage you're gonna see on a car is usually gonna be most prevalent on the hood, the roof, and the trunk lid. Now again, depending on the severity, it could also break your windshield, your back window, and if it's blowing at a really odd angle, you could talk about breaking your side windows. Now let me show you a few odd places people generally don't think about hail damaging. So we'll use my Audi S3 as an example of some of the unexpected costs that you could incur if you buy a hail damage car. And we're looking right at the first items here. See these uh, trim pieces? Those usually get pretty destroyed in a hailstorm. Uh, they get dented or creased, and there's no effective way of repairing them that wouldn't cost more than just replacing them. So uh, depending on the severity of the storm, you'll likely replace most, if not all, of the trim. The other thing is right up here. This is a really nice big panoramic sunroof. And sometimes these go unscathed, but a lot of times you'll see the glass shatter, like we already talked about with the windshields or the back glass. If this glass shatters, not only do you have now a water problem inside the car if it's shattered completely, but especially on newer cars with these panoramic roofs, you're talking about a very costly fix because this part is very expensive. And if the mechanism inside it broke, you're talking about even more money. All right, so now you have a general idea of where hail will create the most damage on a car. Remember, depending on the angle, you're also probably gonna get a few fender dings, door dings, quarter panel dings, dings on every body panel that aren't made out of plastic. You might even get paint damage on plastic panels. Now typically, that sort of damage is gonna be less severe than that of the hood, the roof, and the trunk lid, since those are directly in the path of those incoming hail balls. Now let's break everything up into subsections and discuss it further. So let's focus in on the hood first and foremost. Most of the time, the hood is so dented up, it actually is less expensive to get a whole new hood and paint it than it is to try and accomplish any sort of paintless dent repair or dent repair with paint. If you get one door ding taken out of your door, it's one ding, but a hood can have literally hundreds of dents. And think about it, if one door ding costs you anywhere between 50 and $150, Multiply that by 150. You get a new hood, you get it painted, and if you're really lucky, you find a hood that's already painted at a salvage yard, or in the case that I'm about to show you with this Mustang, you find a painted hood that somebody took off their car for an aftermarket part. So your roof is your tricky part. Obviously, you just can't unbolt a roof and throw a new roof in. Plus, if you got a sunroof, you could have damage there. That's usually the most labor and time intensive. Obviously, paintless dent repair is preferable to getting your hood repaired and repainted. But typically, you'll have so many dents in the roof, unless it was a light hailstorm, that a painted repair is going to cost you substantially less than paintless dent repair. So last major body panel to discuss is the trunk. Sometimes you can have a big long trunk. In the case of this Audi S3, it's got a pretty short trunk. So if the damage was not that bad, you can like the roof, get it sanded, repainted. Uh, if you find a painted one in a junkyard or a salvage yard and you can throw it in there, good for you. Uh, but the only big difference between it and the hood is that it's a smaller surface area. So it's up to you to weigh the costs and see what is more cost effective, to either replace the entire trunk lid or to go ahead and repair it. This 2017 Hyundai Sonata is the first car we're going to be looking at to decide whether or not a hail damage vehicle is a good rebuild or not. So we'll go through the photos here very quickly and I'll point out anything that I think is notable. I'm going to try and make it as big as I can. All right. And it's very tough to see in the reflection of this white hood, but 
Uh, my assumption is, and you can see very little, there's some of the dings on the hood from the hail. If we keep looking, we can see that the trunk lid itself has uh, quite a few little dents. I can see dents on the roof, like we already have discussed. If we look at this angle, I'm trying to look really close and see. Look at the interior is absolutely brand new. And the engine bay even looks brand new. This car has 11 miles on it. So it came directly from the dealership, and it cost a little bit over $23,000. Now, one quick thing I'd like to note on this Hyundai, it's white. And white cars are the best when you're performing uh, body and paint work because they don't show blemishes as well as darker colors do. So this is a really good option for rebuilding. And the two cars I picked out, the other car being a 2017 Mustang, it's also a good option because it's obviously a pretty common car like the Hyundai. Obviously it's quite a bit different. This is a GT model. This is a nice car. I actually used to own one of these. Uh, I sold it earlier this year. I'll put a picture of it right here. And uh, it was a great car, but the greatest thing about Mustangs is that everybody puts performance parts on it. So like this hood right here, there's a lot of guys that have put an aftermarket hood on their car and they've got the stock one sitting in their garage. So we'll look at the hail damage on this, which looks to be a bit more extensive and obviously we can see it a little bit better. But you can see the hood is completely dented up, the windshield is completely smashed, the fender and the headlight have been removed uh, likely because it was at a body shop and this car was likely on the cusp of being totaled out or being repaired and they decided there was just too much damage. So look, the back window was completely shattered out. We can assume that the roof and the pillar that go all the way back have all sorts of dings and dents. And these new Mustang GTs, they have these rear haunches. As you can see, the trunklet is all dented up and the haunches are all completely just really destroyed by that hail. We keep looking, the interior again looks brand new. Now, the difference between this and the Hyundai we're going to still use this Ford as an example. It's got 700 miles on it. So likely it was titled to somebody and it got hail damage shortly after. So to make the details of this comparison close, I picked these two cars because they're both newer cars that are common. A lot of people buy Hyundai Sonatas. A lot of people buy Ford Mustangs brand new. They both have brand new miles on them. This one having 774. This one having 11. And they're both for sale by the insurance company. And the other good thing is one is white, which is on one end of the spectrum, and one is black, and it's on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. And that's good because it gives me the opportunity to explain to you the difference in repairing one of these cars and what you might be able to expect as far as how the body work comes out. As a side note, guys that do paint at body shops, they're like artists. Some of them are the best, and some of them are kind of amateurs at it. So you can expect a wide range of paint jobs and... It's never, ever, ever, I don't care what anybody tells you, as good as a machine sprayer at a factory. And so just keep that in mind. Most people won't be bothered if they're rebuilding a hail damaged car, but it's one thing to, to keep in mind. So one other thing both of these cars have in common, they're both buy it nows. And this car is $13,700 buy it now. With a retail value, we saw the same number on the sticker of $23,205. The Mustang is a $40,000 retail value that is $22,500 buy it now. Since I owned a Mustang before, I can uh, tell you that this is pretty darn close to sticker price. This car has a performance package based off the wheels. That's about what these cars sell for. So we're going to use the number $40,000 for the Mustang. We're going to use the number $23,000 for the Hyundai. Last disclaimer before we jump into the numbers. I did a video on the best places for you to buy parts when rebuilding a car. And I'm going to link it right above because it's important to know these are brand new cars. The parts are definitely going to be harder to find a used part, although the 2015 Mustang is very similar to a 16 and 15. And a Hyundai is a very popular car. You might be able to find parts half or a quarter of the cost that I'm about to tell you. But I found readily available new parts, and that's what we're going to use for this example. Each hailstorm, as I've stated, is different. All damage will be different on different hail vehicles. But this should give you a general idea of whether or not it's a good deal to rebuild a hail damaged car. As you might have noticed, this Hyundai has a salvage title, and the Mustang also has a salvage title. 
I wanted everything to match in this comparison. A lot of times you'll see newer hail damage cars with a clean title because the dealership sends them directly to auction without getting the insurance company involved. So for the numbers on the Hyundai. Anytime an insurance company sets a buy it now price on a car at Copart or IAAI, they're generally very firm and it's the same number, maybe within $100 leeway or $200 leeway as the reserve price at auction. So it's fair to say that this car will sell around the buy it now price of $13,700. So we get a $9,300 discount right off the bat. Now that's pretty great. Auction fees are $648 and I'll put a link in the description below to the Copart auction fees calculator I use for this. Broker fees are subject to whether you're an individual or maybe by law you can legally buy this car without a license and shipping fees are also optional so I left them both as asterisks. You can calculate in your mind whether you would buy this car and have it shipped. Just figure on a high side 50 cents per mile shipping. Usually it runs between 30 and 40 cents. Now for the parts cost I've totaled it about $1,500 and let me tell you how I got there. I found a brand new hood for $500, a brand new trunk lid for $700, and miscellaneous trim pieces we're likely not going to replace all the trim, we're just going to replace some of it. I calculated that brand new at about $300. You might not need any of it, or you might need to replace it all. That's just a good round number and a good place to guesstimate. We go down, and, and this again is going to vary greatly depending on the quality of job you get, the place you go to and really what you you order. So maybe you just want the whole roof, the trunk lid, and the hood of this Hyundai repainted. For that, to get all the dents filled in and painted, you could be looking anywhere from a low end to $2,000. Most body shops are going to recommend you repaint this entire car. There's going to be some dings on the doors and some dings on the fenders. They're going to have to repair more than you can see in the photos. So on a high side, I'd put $4,000. That's what I can get it done for locally. It might cost you a little bit more, a little bit less. And that brings us to our total range cost of anywhere between let's call it eighteen and twenty thousand dollars and so now we went from a car that we got a ninety three hundred dollar discount it cost twenty three thousand dollars new we didn't calculate any broker or shipping fees and in total it costs us about twenty thousand dollars so our ninety three hundred dollar discount has turned into roughly a three to five thousand dollar discount however we want to look at it now let's move over to the numbers on the Mustang GT. They're estimating its MSRP at $40,000 and their buy it now price is $22,500. That's a $17,500 discount. Now that sounds pretty steep and this is a nice Mustang. It's got the premium package and track package. Nice car. So our auction fees on the Mustang are $748. Now we'll go down. I've calculated a new hood, trunk, and glass. Now these were used painted parts actually. In black I was able to find on eBay pretty quickly. And the hood and the trunk both cost about $500 each from what I gathered. Now the glass for both the windshield and the rear glass, I got a quote from Safelite, which is a big glass company, for $759. Installed, of course. So we go down and now our paint and body work on the Mustang. Again, this car has got a lot of body work to be done, even though you're going to replace the hood and the trunk lid. I've calculated anywhere from $2,500 to $4,500, especially because this is a black paint and it looks to be a bit more damaged than the Hyundai. It's going to cost us a little bit more. You might have a buddy that will do it for you for $500, but this is what I know I can get it done for at a professional shop. When it comes to paint and body, especially on a brand new car, I always want to make sure it looks as new as possible. So I like to go and get the correct job performed. Again, $2,500 to $4,500 is what we can expect for a grand total of $27,507 or $29,500, let's just call it. So $27,500 to $29,500. We go up here, and our original cost is $40,000. So the rough total that we can expect to save on the Mustang after it's fixed is anywhere from $10,500 to $12,500. And that's actually a pretty good discount. So just a really quick review. This Hyundai Sonata, once it's all fixed up, we can expect to save anywhere from three dollars to $5,000. 
In this Ford Mustang, we can save anywhere between $10,500 and $12,500. Again, you might be able to save a little bit more, or maybe you'll save a little bit less. It all depends who you get the parts from and who you get to repair it for you. So now that you guys have some figures to go off of on both the Mustang and the Hyundai, it's time for you to give me your feedback and tell me, do you think either of these cars are a great deal and worth the time to rebuild? Keep in mind all the details, including the title status of both of these vehicles. While I have a fairly strong opinion when it comes to hail damage cars, I don't want to skew yours quite yet. So please get active in the comments section below, drop me a line and tell me what you think. And very soon after, I'm going to release another video telling you exactly what I think about buying hail damage cars. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to write me in the comments section or shoot me a private message. I read every single comment. Be sure you're subscribed as there's a lot of great stuff coming very soon. I want to thank all the new subscribers. You will have my opinion on hail damaged cars very soon. Thanks for watching.